Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how they're so arrogant. But, I mean, I guess they've got all the banking money, all the power on their side. They're brainwashing all the kids in the schools. I mean, it, it is a serious wound to them, though, that Climate Gate now looks mild compared to all the other fraud coming out. But they run the government that would prosecute them. And they're, George Soros is saying, we're still going to do it. And the Austin City Council says, we don't care if it wrecks Austin. We are going to put a $2.6 billion tax in the next three years just to build all these grids and tear out the... And they say they're going to put a huge 20% tax on everybody's natural gas. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you know, uh, one, of, one of the things that um, has gone on with this is, is the, as I said, using, using the science base, the false science. But that, what's come out so far... Is only the tip of the iceberg, and I don't really want to sound cute with that comment, but I, I know, having watched them create this fraud for over 30 years, and how they how they uh, commandeered climate science, I know that there's a lot, lot more to come out yet. I mean, it's just a bunch of criminals all making yeah. money off of it, and they're all a bunch of eugenicists, population reductionists. Let's talk about that and how they're taking over the states. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're here live, Central Standard Time. We'll be back live Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Got Deborah Medina on and others. You know, we have this article, Cap and Trade Scam, to be enforced at state level. Individuals and businesses in Austin and a plethora of other states to be taxed for emissions on life-giving gas, carbon dioxide, and everything else. That's Read the whole article. Get it out to everybody you know in every major city so you know what's happening. They call it green jobs. It has nothing to do with that. Here's Bloomberg. States to lead carbon markets as federal plan stalls. Bloomberg. In fact, give me a document cam shot here. States to lead carbon markets as federal plan stalls. Right there. Uh, we have the other article here, uh, which has a direct link to the city council saying $2.6 billion just to launch the program. And again, for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, there's the Bloomberg article. Uh, here's energy plan comes to city council as legislature plans review. How can the city be run by foreign private corporations? Austin Energy unveils carbon calculator at Expo. You're, they're putting in the smart thermostats in your houses without asking you. Uh, where they say they're going to control the temperature in your house. California's doing it. Uh, Obama laughed at after calling climate change evidence overwhelming. Dr. Tim Ball, top climatologist who's been persecuted by these people. Uh, I mean, this is total financial feudalism. This is total domination. Canada, where you live, is even worse. You've already had multiple states up there pass this. I mean, it's devastated Spain, and and they love it. Yeah. Well, you know, in our, the province that I live in, British Columbia, on the west coast here, and and uh, one of the, the problems that I have with Canada is we've got more oil and energy and, and, and uh, resources than in virtually any country in the world, yet we're paying top prices. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's like paying restaurant prices for food in your own home. And uh, one of the things in British Columbia here is that we were the first uh, province uh, jurisdiction in North America to introduce a carbon tax. And um, what's annoying about it is that um, the premier, before he got elected, he attended a, a presentation that I gave and said afterwards, I want to talk with you and get you to talk to my environment uh, minister. Um, and that never happened. Then the next year, after he'd been elected premier, he heard me talk again and said, did you meet with him? And I said, no. He said, I'll make sure it happens. Uh, the meeting was held in his office. And he said, I can't stay for the meeting, but I want to make sure the meeting occurs. And then and what happens three years later? Suddenly he's introducing a carbon tax, and they're, they're putting a billion dollars of, of taxpayer money into all of these absolutely useless schemes uh, to combat climate change. And I discover who's behind it all? Andrew Weaver. And who's Andrew Weaver? He's the lead author of the chapters on the computer models at the IPCC. 
and he got he got a hold of the government, convinced them. And when you read the the government documents, they all uh, the absolute Bible again is the IPCC. Now Weaver, by the way, uh, being the weasel that he is, has just come out and said, "Oh well, you know, there's uh, problems of process with the IPCC, and and we need uh, to relook at how we're de- handling the science." Well, he's he's saying he's one of the rats deserting the sinking ship. And uh, by the way, this is an example of what's going on everywhere, Alex. And by the way, on screen we have the Austin Energy Calculator. It's similar to what Enron did. Yep. Uh, Secretary of the Army White ran it before he went to the Army. They had fake computer models to show people how they didn't have any energy, so they had to triple and quadruple, in some cases even more money. And then it turned out it was all just a made-up scam. They're just seizing our energy and saying they're going to jack up our prices, and they make little fake computer graphics for the morons. Well, Alex, the, the carbon credits thing, there's been so many scams with it already. I mean, for example, when they first introduced it uh, at the uh, international level, that is, uh, trading between nations, they very quickly discovered that Germany and Turkey were cooking the books, that they were deliberately giving false information about the CO2 that they were producing as nations. And in India and China to- won't even sign on and don't have to, meaning all our jobs will go there. Exactly, and and uh, so the, the the they already had the scam going, and one of the things, by the way, and I talked earlier about the tip of the iceberg. What people don't know is that the statistics on the amount of CO two that humans are producing globally, uh, and the current figure is given, I think it's about seven point five gigatons. That number is produced by the IPCC. They're, the, they're cooking that number as but well. But even with that number, they say humans are 3 to 6% of carbon dioxide increase. Right. Now, you, you asked yourself, first of all, they say, oh, well, they get the basic number from each country. How many countries in the world know exactly what CO2 they're producing? No, they just make it up. Stay, Dr. Yeah. Tim Ball, stay there. Long segment coming up. Let's get into a chronicle of all their fraud, not just Climate Gate and where they're going, and then a little bit more about how they're taking over in your town. You'll hear it's green jobs and, oh, some windmills. That's just the window dressing. It means carbon taxes and carbon trading ripping you off. 2.6 bill in Austin.